Kia ora Year 12 and welcome to this tutorial on the hereafter in Islam. We've got our key goals for today are to identify and explain the concept of the hereafter in Islam. So in Islam faith, the grave is actually where our body will go after death and it's something that we're all going to experience. So as stated in the Quran, it states, every soul shall taste death. The Prophet of Allah called their people to worship one God, Allah, and are taught to believe in life after death. This place immediately after death is called the hereafter, and it's the first stage of life in the grave. So in the Hadith, Muhammad also said, so the Hadith is our sayings and teachings of Muhammad, the grave is the first place after death. So the life we have on earth here is a series of tests and it's a series of trials to determine where we will go in the hereafter. So all of the actions that we've ever done in our life here on earth are recorded and they form the basis for any punishment or reward that we might receive. So in the Quran, which is the holy text of Islam, it states, this is the paradise which will you will inherit because of the deed, deeds which you use to do. So based on your life here on earth, that will determine whether you go to paradise or whether you go uh, into the afterlife, into hell. So uh, this first stage of life in the grave is often referred to as bazak, which means an obstacle. So this obstacle cannot be crossed without permission of Allah. So bazak is a period that is between a person's death and their resurrection on the day of judgment. So for a Muslim, as soon as they die, they head to the hereafter where they will wait and they will find out whether they're going to paradise or hell. And it's not until the day of judgment occurs that they will then move to that place. So after death, the Prophet Muhammad asks his people to ask for forgiveness and also to ask Allah for his strength during this hereafter time of questioning. This, this is because uh, Muhammad said what comes after burial can be a really difficult time. So let's review our learning goal for today. Can you identify and explain the concept of the hereafter in Islam?